Hello, back again. Thought I'd do a uh, bit of an update to my PS1 collection because I haven't done one in a long time. This might be more than one video, it might be one, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I was going to record it showing close ups of all the games and things, but where the cases are either quite damaged on these or they're, they're just really reflective and it, it didn't come out too well. So I'm just going to do it kind of old school style, picking them up, showing you what I got. But I'm also trying this with a new camera, so I, I don't know how this is going to come out. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll crack on. Uh, up first, it's 40 Winks. It's, um, yeah, it's a 3D platformer. It's all right. Recently it was re-released on the N64. Um, because it, it was meant to come out on the N64, but it got cancelled and Pico Interactive re-released it. Must be about a year ago now, maybe more, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to get through these real quick because there's a lot of them. Uh, like this one's, this one's completely battered. I used this as a case replacement and still got it. It's a Actua Soccer 2. Yeah, football game. Not my kind of thing. I literally only have it because I bought it as a case. There's, then there's the bit of case that fell off of it, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to case replace that. Uh, up next, Action Bass. Yeah, fishing game. Alien Trilogy. Yeah, if, if it seems like I hold things up for a long time before I say anything, it's because where I'm using my new camera, I can see what I'm doing, but it's on my phone and it's slightly behind what I'm doing, so it might take me a while to get used to this. All-Star Tennis. Classic. Ape Escape. It's annoying. The PAL version of Ape Escape does not work on a PS3. It will boot up, but it won't recognise the controls. A bit weird. Uh, Our Marines, Project Swarm, first person shooter, a bit like Starship Troopers, also got that on the 64. Uh, Army Men Operation Meltdown, I have played it, I don't remember anything that made it stand out from any other Army Men game. <laughs> uh, Art and Senna Cart Jewel. I think one of these, I think the American version or something of one of these is really expensive. Um, I bought this, I tried to buy the first one, this is number two. Um, I tried to buy the first one off of CEX and they sent me the second one. But I think the second one's a bit more expensive. So I wasn't going to complain. Uh, Baby Universe, this, this is weird, it's like a 3D kaleidoscope. You can put music in it and it, yeah, you, you put your music CDs and it makes pretty much a screensaver. It's weird. Beyblade, let it rip. I've never actually played this. Um, I don't know how a Beyblade game would play. I'll have to play it at some point. Hopefully I'll get around to putting the footage for these up so you'll be able to see what they are as well. Fisherman's Bait 2, big old bass. This is um I think this is not not too cheap of a game. It's like a twenty seven pound game. That was a one pound charity shop find. I've never tried it. Uh, Breath of Fire. This is actually incredibly good condition. This game. I've yet to get around to playing it though. I just to pop them in to make sure they work. Then they get added to the backlog. Uh, Brian Lara Cricket. Game with probably some of the worst load times in the world. Bomberman. Good old Bubsy 3D. Um, this is awful, but for some reason I quite like it. I don't know why. I kind of like the way that when you jump and the camera turns to look below you. No idea why I like that. Uh, Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters. I have played this. Can't remember anything about it. Uh, 
Championship Motocross featuring Ricky Carmichael. I think this is the one that I played a hell of a, hell of a lot of on a demo disc. Um, when I borrowed a PlayStation off of someone as a kid. I just like the fact that the bike's got muddy. Uh, Chase the Express. It's Isn't it like a mystery, sci-fi, spy kind of game, but set kind of like with tank controls and that, like Resident Evil? Don't know. I haven't played it. All I know is it was cheap. Uh, Circuit Breakers. Like a little top-downy kind of racing game. Yeah, it's, it's alright actually, that one. Colin McRae Rally. Everyone knows what that is. By the way, I'm getting through this so quick I might not be able to put any footage. It might be a couple of still images. <laughs> cool Borders 2. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot 2. Crash Bandicoot 3. Crash Bash. Crash Team Racing. Croc. Dancing Stage Party Edition. I don't know why I have that. And Death Trap Dungeon. That is the first shelf done. So I might be able to get this all done in one video. So I'll stop now and get another pile. Okay, let's move on to shelf number two. Uh, cool Borders 4. In this, yeah, in this weird slipcase thing. Um, Demolition Racer. The Dalmatians. Good old. Well, it didn't it wasn't this a Phoenix game? For they did it for PS2, but it's Midas on the PS1. Uh, Dancing Stage Euro Mix. Descent. A lot of these still have the uh, the prices on the back when I paid for them in charity shops, like a pound. Destruction Derby. That's a heavy box. Uh, Destruction Derby Raw. This is really good Destruction Derby actually. <laughs> ah, I don't think this has, I think this is just a case. Um, double check. Yeah. <laughs> I picked this up ages ago and thought I'd either use it as a case replacement or find the disc for it. And it's just sat in my collection the entire time. That wasn't meant to be in there. Good old Barbie though. <laughs> uh, Die Hard Trilogy 2. I never knew there was a second one until I saw it. Dino Crisis. Hopefully this gets a uh, reboot kind of like. If they're doing with the Resident Evil games that would be amazing. Dino Crisis 2. Something sounds loose in this case, what is it? Oh no, it just has some extra gubbins floating around in it. Uh, Donald Duck Quack Attack. Um, this is actually an alright little Crash Bandicoot clone. It's quite fun. Uh, Lion King Simba's Mighty Adventure. Um, I reprinted the front cover for this one, because if I remember rightly, <laughs> when I picked it up, yeah. Well, I'll show you the manual, the, the front cover's like it as well. That is sun faded to hell. But I thought for, I think it was 50p or, or quid, I had to pick it up. Thought I could get some artwork for it at some point. Uh, Peter Pan Adventures in Neverland. I haven't played that one. <laughs> Uh, Disney's Tarzan. I remember playing a demo of this, but I've yet to get around to playing this. Uh, 
a lot of these weirder kind of like kiddie kind of games that I seem to have picked up uh, they're not high up on my to play list uh, Dracula the Resurrection another one that's still got a pound sticker on the back of it Driver a game I, I loved as a kid same as Driver 2 Duke Nukem Land of the Babes um, I didn't like this one I liked um, Time to Kill but I've only got a disc version of that somewhere. I will find the discs as well I've got afterwards and I'll put them on the end. ECW Hardcore Revolution. I remember playing this as well, but I'm pretty sure it plays the same as the like WWF Attitude and Warzone games, if I remember rightly. Uh, Evo Space Adventure. Also known as uh, Silicon Valley, Silicon Space Station, Silicon Valley. Is that what it is on the N sixty four? Don't know. Good game though. I have a feeling this might be a, almost a horror game. I've never played it. I picked it up because it looked obscure. It's a uh, Excalibur twenty five fifty five A D, like a kind of sci fi kind of horror game. I don't know. I'll have to play it. Uh, Fear Effect. For some reason I have a copy of FIFA 99. Probably because it was a pound. <laughs> Fighting Force 2. Um, I've never actually played uh, this version of it. I played the demo of it, but I played through it on the, the Dreamcast. It's like a 3D beat em up kind of game. Final Fantasy 7 Platinum one and for some reason I also have a Final Fantasy 7 black label one I think because I found them both in charity shops in their CD section for like a pound each Final Fantasy 8 and Formula 1 99 Right, that's another shelf done. I'm gonna grab a drink and get the next shelf ready. Okay, on to shelf number three. Uh, got Formula One 2000. G Police. Galarians. Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 2, isn't it, isn't it one of the PAL versions that, uh, of Gran Turismo 2 which is apparently scratch and sniff, I've never tried to find out, I'm not going to start sniffing the discs, Grand Theft Auto, I've actually liked the PlayStation 1 um, version of that because I originally played it on the PC and it, it was just so much smoother and faster and when I played the PS1 version it just seemed so slow and just not fun to play. GTA 2. Again I played this on the Dreamcast instead of the PS1 originally so I, I prefer that version of it. Grandia. Guardians Crusade. Yeah, I, I would sit and talk more about these, but this is going to go on forever, otherwise. Hardcore 4x4. This game literally takes about 10 minutes to finish. Oh, right there. What have I done with it? Yeah, it's Harry Potter and the uh, Philosopher's Stone, but it's the German version of it. Somewhere, I have the English one as well. I don't know what I've done with that. I'll probably run into it in a minute. Heart of Darkness. Hidden and Dangerous. 
I actually can't remember how long ago I did my uh, PS1 collection. It's got to be a couple of years now, isn't it? Uh, Hugo 2. As you can tell, I'm, again, not obsessed with things being mint. I like the idea of some stuff being a bit older. Uh, this, I think this is another weird horror game. In Cold Blood. I put it on for about five minutes and then never, I never went back to it, I don't know why. Uh, Independence Day, the game. International Track and Field. I used to play a lot of this with my mate James. Iron Soldier 3. You know what? I didn't even know I had this. <laughs> uh, Jade Cocoon. I recently started playing this one. This is a great Pokemon-esque. Like cross with Final Fantasy kind of RPG. This case is absolutely annihilated. This came with some job lot of stuff I bought. Jimmy White's Cubal 2. I actually really like the Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker or whatever it's called. Called on the uh, Mega Drive. So yeah I haven't actually played that one yet. Uh, Jungle Book Groove Party. Is this the dance mat game? I don't know. I think it is. I don't know why I have this. This is actually a really good uh, 3D platformer, but it does have tank controls. Kingsley's Adventure. This is, this is starting to climb in price, I think. This, uh, that's one of the games I have actually got this nigh on mint. Um, Kadelka. It's like a horror RPG. I think it's like the predecessor to, um, is it Shadow Hearts? Uh, I haven't played any of these games. I've got this one and I've got the second one on the uh, PS2, but I've yet to play either. Which is Largo Winch. I don't, don't even know if it is the second one. It, it might just be a PS2 version of that one. Uh, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. This one's quite cool. It's got a weird lenticular cover on it. Uh, one that somebody I know is always after and it bugs them that I have it. Legend of Dragoon. That's that's getting pretty high up there on the uh, price now. Uh, I haven't played this one. I did check that it works. Um, I didn't even know it was an Atlas game. Uh, Legend of Cartia. Okay. Lego Rock Raiders. And. The Lost World Jurassic Park. So that's shelf number three done. I will start getting the next one ready. Okay, on to shelf number four. Um, I did find a few random ones. I was going to try to put all these in somewhat of an alphabetical order, but these ones weren't put in, so I just I'll throw these in first. Uh, it was FIFA 2000. I must have picked that up as a case replacement. Um, no. These next two I could have put in order, but never mind. It was Rascal. It's another like 3D platformer game. And Tail Concerto. Um, yeah, this this only came, I think it only came out in France. Um, this version of it, if you want a PAL version, that is. It it plays in French. It doesn't play in English, uh, but it's still fun. Okay, now onto the actual shelf. We have Magical Drop 3, Martian Gothic Unification, which I think might be another survival horror game. Oh, very battered case here. Medal of Honor. Medieval 2. I don't actually have Medieval 1. Got the remake of it, but I think you can unlock the uh, first one on that anyway, can't you? Uh, Metal Gear Solid Special Missions. Metal Slug X. Another one that's in actually really good shape. Mickey's 
as well, Avenger. Micro Machines V3. Millennium Soldier Expendables. Misadventures of Trombon. Um, again, this one has a printed case because when I bought it, I got a decent deal on it, but I only got the manual and the disc. So I've been looking, the manual and the disc are in like amazing shape, but I can never find somebody selling just, just the case for it. So uh, Monster Racer, it's like a kart racer. Monster Rancher. Motocross Mania. Music 2000. Uh, Nagano Winter Olympics 98 with a giant stain on the front of the case. Necronomicon, the dawning of darkness. I I have not played this, so. Nightmare creatures. I prefer these weird little boxes that some PS1 games came in with the chunkier like side stuff. I don't know why. Uh, no fear downhill mountain biking. Oddworld, Abe's Exodus. Just Oddworld. I'm hoping that these are going to be in shot when I lift these up. Overblood. I picked up Overblood too the other day. What have I done with that? Damn it. I'll find that and put that in in the next bit. <laughs> Parasite Eve 2. Always bugged me we didn't get the first one here. Uh, Populous, the beginning. Porsche Challenge. Uh, That's another one I had to print the case for. Um, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. I'm pretty sure this was another one which was in that lot of super faded stuff. Uh, no, I guess it didn't come with a front case, that front cover that one. That's why. It's got a real back, it's not a real front. No idea why I have this. Premier Manager 98. Yeah. yeah I think it's a pronounced. Poochie Karat? Poochie Karat? I don't know. But I seem to be losing some light in here. I will try and rectify that for the next bit. Uh, R-types? Rage Racer? And Rally Championship. So yeah, that's another shelf done. I will try to get some more light into the room and do the next one. Right, back in a minute. Okay, on to the next shelf. I seem to have misplaced a few. Um, like, I don't know what I've done with my overblood too. That seems to have just gone wandering. But, never mind, I do have it somewhere. It's really bugging me. There's nowhere it could have got to. Never mind. Okay, up next is Rayman. Rayman 2. Resident Evil Survivor. Resident Evil, uh, yeah, it's just another one. Didn't know if it was the director's cut one. That's no, just another one, platinum one. This, this still has a, a pound sticker on the back of it as well. <laughs> Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3. 
Level 3. Again, this still has a pound sticker on the back. <laughs> Still think I've got some good deals on these. Uh, reloaded. Revolt. Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer Type 4. Road Rash Jailbreak. Roswell Conspiracies, Aliens, Myths and Legends. I don't know why I bought this. I remember buying this off eBay and I don't know why. Silent Hill. Simpsons Wrestling. Never did sort out that light, did I? Uh, Sky Sports Football Quiz Season 2. Why? Why do I own that? South Park. Pretty sure this is an Australian copy of this game because it's in a strange case uh, and it looks like it's a... I think that's an Australian rating. Smackdown 2, no your roll. It's the only thin cased PS1 game I have. Space Invaders. Hey, Phoenix Games. Rocks. It's a little puzzler. Scooby doing the Cyber Chase. Spec Ops Airborne Commando. I really like this game. Spider. It's a 2.5D platformer where you play as a spider. Spider Man 2. And SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. This is this is some seriously random like selection of games. I think all all bar a few PS1 games I've got have all been charity shop finds. So this is why it's such an eclectic mix. But yeah, now I will try to sort out the light again and do the next lot. <laughs> okay, on to the next lot. I've tried to get some more light in here. I don't know if it's done much. It, it's just making it hard for me to see my screen now. Never mind. Uh, so we got Spyro Dragon. Spyro 2. Street Fighter Collection 2. I can never remember what this name is. It's Street Fighter at EX Plus Alpha. I always get it the wrong way around when I say it. I have to read that one. Uh, Stuart Little 2. As you can tell, that was definitely a charity find, that one. Uh, one that's quite sought after by people. Suicoden 2. Uh, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. For some reason, the case on this is incredibly cloudy, which makes it look like it's printed, but it's not. It's the, the actual plastic's really cloudy. I guess it's probably quite brittle. Uh, siphon filter. Tekken 2. Tekken 3. Uh, Tempest X3. Tenju. This doesn't seem to have the front cover. I didn't know I didn't have the front cover to this. That's kind of annoying. Never mind. I'll get one. Tenju 2. Test Drive 5. Theme Hospital. Tiger 
time crisis. Uh, Toka Touring Car Championship. Toka World Touring Cars. I can't remember if it's this one or that one, or the one before, where you could uh, use a cheat to get a tank, and it was just fun. Um, very battered up, but chunky double case version of Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider 2. That was in a weird box. I think somebody's tried to cut that to make it fit into one of the smaller cases. <laughs> Tomb Raider 3. Tomb Raider Chronicles. Tomb Raider Last Revelation. And we'll end this shelf on a decent one of Tombi. Yeah, I should have done this when there was more light in the sky. <laughs> Never mind. Um, let's crack on, shall we? Let's get another shelf. Okay, and this is the last shelf. I really wish I knew where those ones were, just went wandering are. I'll find them as soon as I've done this, but never mind. If I do, I'll add them to the end. If not, I no idea what I've done with them. But yeah, let's continue. Got Tombi 2. Hopefully I'll be able to lighten this video up a bit in the uh, <laughs> editing software. Uh, I don't know, perhaps it's going to... Tommy Macon Rally? This one I thought was going to be a platformer of some kind. It's not. It might as well be a 45 minute long interactive cartoon. Which is Tiny Toon Adventures, Adventures Toon and Stein Dare to Scare. It's awful. Uh, Tony Hawk Skateboarding. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, and for some reason the artwork is upside down in this, so... <laughs> Why is that upside down? That's annoying. Uh, Total Driving. Rugrats in Paris, the movie. Uh, Tunguska, Legend of Faith. UEFA Champions League season 1999 to 2000. Uh, Vagrant Story. V Rally. Vandal Hearts. Vandal Hearts 2. I'm pretty sure it's the one that comes with the... Yeah, it's got the so quick Sweet Code and 2 demo in it. Yeah, case is falling apart. Uh, Warcraft 2. Uh, WCW Backstage Assault. Is this just all backstage? I have a feeling it might be. Uh, WCW Mayhem. Who wants to be a millionaire? The game that seems to end up in everyone's PS1 collection. And every charity shop ever. Hey, another Phoenix game. Winky the Little Bear. I bought that because the name like made me chuckle. That's the only reason I bought that. Wipeout. Is this Wipeout 3? it's got the wipe three out kind of thing. I don't know. I think it is. Uh, World Championship Snooker. Still has its 99p label that I paid for on the front of it. Uh, World's Scariest Police Chases. One day I may change all these uh, cases out and put them, make them a bit better because the actual 
stuff inside is always pretty good. Just the cases are ruined. Uh, worms. WWF, uh, WWF attitude. I once picked up a big wrestling lot of stuff, as you can tell. I, there was a couple in that were worth something though, so I, I sold them because I was broke. Uh, WWF in your house. And finally, the X Files. So yeah, no idea what happened with those other games. I have got my couple of my loose ones here. I know there's one missing because it's currently in the PS3 downstairs because the girlfriend was playing Chicken Run. So that's down there. Uh, we have Pac-Man World. More artwork for Rage Racer. I've got like artwork for Rage Racer everywhere. Uh, what else is in here? It's PS1. I did get rid of a few of them. Because I thought it was stuff I'd rather have just on a, um, a complete copy of. Uh, for some reason I kept Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> uh, breakout. Rayman Rush. This used to be full of like discs, which I just didn't have any cases for, but slowly but surely shifted a lot of them just because I didn't need them. Uh, Spyro Year of the Dragon. I'm getting this at a weird angle. It's because I keep showing them to my phone and it's not my phone that's even recording this. Uh, Cyber Deck. If I do that, that might make more sense. One that I would love to have the box for. Cooler World. Yep. That's all the PS1 stuff in there, apart from as the chicken run, but that's in the PlayStation. So yeah, and it's to be honest, <laughs> that's quite a fun little game. It's like a uh, kind of like chicken run style Metal Gear Solid stealth game. It's alright. But yeah. That's everything that I was going to show. I can't remember when I last did this to show the PS1 stuff. I don't know if it's grown by much or what, but it'll be interesting. I'll watch the old one back and see what the difference is, see if I, see how much I've picked up. Still annoyed I don't know where those games are, but never mind. They, it was only Overblood 2 and the English version of Harry Potter, so I don't know where they've gone. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Have fun. <laughs>